I actually got a throat infection and because of that I actually lost a, a bit of weight. One day I was having a shower, this lump was quite prominent on my left um, breast area. So I went to Sydney Breast Clinic, didn't really tell anyone really, tried to deal with it myself. Um, at the time I was still single. Went there at 8.30 in the morning. So at the end of the day, um, about 5 o'clock, I got pulled into a room and got told by the doctor that I had breast cancer. Probably less than two weeks I had surgery done um, to remove the, the lump that they found. It actually spread to my um, lymph nodes, the cancer. So I lost my hair and everything um, through chemo. And of course, Cancer Council, um, I'm very grateful for their help and support because they connected me with, I think it's called a Young Survivorship Program for 18 to 45 year old people. I found it really helpful to be connected to other young people because we have issues that are more um, unique to our needs. Like for, for example, I talked about fertility, like for young people, you thinking about having kids, financial issues, thinking about your future, about your work and career when you've had a bit of a hump, you think where do you go from here, um, other things like body image and confidence. If you're single you think will someone ever like me. Breast cancer can affect people in all forms and shapes, different ages, but I know there's one in eight um, women that would get diagnosed with breast cancer. I think it's something that we need to talk about and don't feel ashamed of and I'll be wearing, yes I'll be wearing this pin um, yep, to help promote Pink Ribbon Day as well. A wonderful guy that I've known for about six years. He phoned me and asked me what was happening in my life and just to say hello. And um, basically I told him I was having surgery for breast cancer the next day. And basically from then onwards he was by my side. I proposed about 11 months into the treatment and then we got married the following years. People say that, you know, it's very tough going through all this, but I kind of feel very blessed and very lucky because um, you learn about the people who really care for you.